question around the Common Core state standards and the framework, I think, will have a profound impact on science educators, science reformers, and science professional developers in the future. Um, and where I'm getting this from is when you take a look at the Common Core state standards, even though the major focus is around language arts and math, when you go to the high school language arts, and especially in the area of reading, there's a very strong emphasis on argumentation. And what we mean by that is that students are, are either reading or collecting some sort of data and drawing conclusions and claims from that reading. And then they're sharing those claims by providing supportive evidence to their peers, either in oral form or written form. Well, a lot of people say that's fine, that's in writing, but that doesn't pertain to science. There's a little caveat down below in, in the state standards that says the, the notion of argumentation will be integrated in all curriculum areas. So the writing is on the horizon that for science educators in the next couple of years, this notion of argumentation is going to be an important part. It's going to take some professional development on the, on the part of teachers, getting them ready for this, but it's really the work of what real scientists really do. When you take a traditional lab where students are given the question and they're given the materials and they're given the procedure and how to collect their data and how to organize their data, that's not the work of real scientists. But when you take a look at students that are investigating a uh, phenomenon through inquiry and drawing some claims from their data, supporting it with evidence, and learning how to justify and defend their ideas, that's the work of real scientists. And that's where I think science, uh, the science instruction is going to take us in the next three to five years. Mm -hmm.